Amém. dito sa MOA Arena at lamangayan ang San Beda Red Lions over the Perpetual Health Altas with the score of 37 to 30. At dahil halftime na, as always, we always have a video prepared for each and every one of you. And right now, we are going to present to you the top place of the season. Panoorin natin ito. Narito na ang top 10 plays sa mga unang laban ng NCAA Final Four. Simulan natin sa number 10. Sumalaksak si GJ Ilagan sa baseline for the reverse layup with hang time. Wow! Wow! Takes it to the to papunta sa baseline on the left side of the rim. Finishes it. Doon sa right side. Para naman sa number 9. Here's Gap Dagano ng Perpetual Aldas with a nice spin and finish. This guy has to come up big para sa kanyang kubunan. What a move there, right there for Gap Dagano. Spin move and the layup. So five straight points. So number eight. Walang ligtas sa loob ng burahin ni Gong Flores ang opensa sa pamamagitan ng isang monster rejection. Fights and rejects! At number seven. Napasayaw ang bantay ni Giovanni Halalon sa kanyang hesitation move for the pull-up J. He really wants this game. Kanina pa sumusubok to si, si Halalon. He won't be denied. Kahit nag-dibuti siya, he's gonna keep on good. So number six, umupo sa ere si Gab Dagangon pagkatapos malusutan ang depensa. Dito sa fourth quarter, Gab Dagangon with a finger roll again. Gap Dagangon, yung mga mahihirap. Kanina, open-open, di yan na i-shoot. Pero ngayon, over two defenders. Sa number five, walang suko ang Red Lions sa dulo ng kanilang laban. The Vaughn Potts with a clutch jumper to tie the game. Wala akong masabi dito kay The Vaughn Potts struggling all game long. Pero when it matters the most, eh, eto na siya to save the day again for San Veda. It's the fourth quarter. Sa number 4, hindi napigilan ang Altus Big Man sa fast break. Bright Aquetti with the one-handed tomahawk dunk. Basket na makatakbo ng ganun yung Big Man ng Perpetual. At ito naman si Bright Aquetti. Sa number 3, ang reigning MVP at Defensive Player of the Year, Orwell Oraime says, not in my house. Okay, and I don't get some foul from CJ Eason. Sa number 2, muling nagpakitang gilas ang high-flying center ng Arellano Chiefs, Gong Flores with a slam dunk. Ben Flores! Sa kapanood ng Arellano, they're so unselfish and so hardworking and they're never giving up in that possession. They're willing to share that gold. Nichols! At para sa ating number 1 play, Sino pa ba ang player of the game mula sa Perpetual Altas? Gab Dagangon with a game-winning basket. Dagangon, 27 points including that go-ahead basket that puts Perpetual up by 2 with 20 seconds left. And look at Gab Dagangon. Abangan ang susunod edisyon ng NCAA Top Plays sa Season 92. Ronda! Hi girl! At syempre, hello sa mga kapamilyang nanunood ngayon. At talaga namang mahal na mahal ang basketball! NCAA basketball na talaga naku excited na to excited na ako kung sino ang mananalong ngayon. Ako rin! Alam mo ako rin, sobrang excited ako. Kung patanong ko lang, ano ang gina... I mean, what brings you here, Eva? Naku, uh, bukod sa gusto ko makipag-bonding sa'yo. Wow. <laughs> 
At syempre gusto ko rin makipag-bonding syempre sa mga kapamilya natin nga uh, taga Perpetual Health and of course San Beda kasi ngayon makikilala na natin ang uh, mananalo para makarating sa finals. At syempre talaga ng mga kinikilatis natin ang bawat galaw nila para naman ang mga kapamilya natin ay eh, talaga ng mga humiyaw at uh, on air tayo ngayon live na live rent sa MOR 101.9 talaga nag-update tayo ng mga iba't ibang kaganapan dito ha. Ngayon nga eh half time na, 'di ba? Ito naman, Eva, are you having fun naman at kasama mo kami dito ngayon sa NCA? Mamimit pa namin ang expectation mo. Oo naman, talaga ng mga nakikiyatsikahan na nga ako. Kahit mga hindi ko kakilala doon sa kabilang side, San Beda man yan, o kaya Perpetual Health, talaga ng mga more, more, more chika kami. And of course, kinikilala ko sila bawat isa kung bakit ba talaga nila gusto makapasok sa final. Grabe, yung bosses mo, bagay na bagay sa personality mo dito. Thank you so much for visiting us right now, Eva. Alright. At kagaya nyo, pwede rin kayong makasana sa amin. Pwede nyo sagutin ang aming question of the day. Sino sa tingin nyo ang haharap sa Ariliana sa finals? Huwag nyo kalimutan gamitin ang aming hashtag, hashtag NCAA Season 92 at makikita nyo ang aming mga social media handles sa inyong mga TV screens. At dahil dyan, magbabalik tayo dito sa NCAA Season 92 with the Half-Life Analysis. Nagbabalik po ang aming live and exclusive SNA coverage ng NCAA Season 92 kung saan kasulukuy ang nagtatapat ang host school, ang San Beda College at ang University of Perpetual Health na nagnanais na makabalik sa final sa unang pagkakataon mula 2004. Halftime po, ang tally 37 para sa Red Lions, 30 para sa Altas. Maraming salamat muli sa pagtutok ang Ton Rojas alongside Coach Mix Bustos and we've seen a game of runs mix. May mga pagkakataon na lumamang ang perpetual. They actually led by nine, their biggest lead of the game. But San Pedro went on a rampage para matapos ang first half. Well, you know, Anton, perpetual had the biggest lead of this ball game with nine points, 26 to 17. And then, biglang nag-outburst itong San Pedro Red Lions coming up with a run of their own 20 to 4 run to end this uh, first half. Now we take a look at the numbers at kitang-kita pagdating sa starters. Yamado ang uh, Red Lions 30 big points para sa mga bitista Well, itong ano, field goal story para dito sa Altas and uh, San Beda is uh, lamang na lamang Red Lions in terms of uh, efficiency and a field goal shooting with 54% and the starter points, Robert Ball contributing with a big 14 point uh, production dito sa ating first half scoring 10 in that uh, second quarter pero naman bumabawi sa bench ang uh, combined effort, ang bench points dito para sa perpetual, 17 bench points for them, combined effort, ito nga nila Prince Easy, uh, GJ Elagan Dara Sikuntiko and Flasha Diwa pero ito sa blocks uh, you would think because uh, of a defensive team like a perpetual help, isa lang ang maglalamang uh, doon pero ito surprising us, ang San Beda with the 6 blocks, contributing ito si JV Mokon already with 3 now, what we did not see in those numbers was the 0 for 5 shooting from beyond the arc by Perpetual in the second quarter. Because in the first quarter, 4 out of 6 mm -hmm. ang alta sa 3 point line. Pero ito nga ano, talagang bawing bawi ng San Beda ang uh, kanilang 3 point shooting, 4 out of 8 and 50% from the field, as we can see, leading the way. All scores itong si Robert Bolik. Actually, Anton, he equaled itong si Robert Bolik ang output ng production ng uh, Perpetual noong second quarter. He scored 10 points while Perpetual scored also 10 the whole uh, as a team while Robert also outscored the uh, Perpetual starting lineup 14 to 13. Tama ka, Coach Mix. Sampung puntos lamang ang uh, nagawa ng Perpetual sa second quarter and that really hurt their cause kaya naman lamang ang host school San Pedro College dito sa simula ng third quarter 37 to 30. Maraming salamat muli sa napanonood at Don Rojas Alongside Coach Mix Bustos, and we also have Sarah Carlos at courtside. Binasa sa loob, Bright Aquetti, Supalpan na naman ni Ben Adamos. Talagang hindi uh, makuha yung laro ni Bright Aquetti in this game. Pero bawing ko eh. Oo. Nakabawi. Blocking balling. Here's Pido. Hey. Keep Pido. Kapos. Tinapik ni Aquetti. Kapos pa rin. Perpetual can't buy a basket. We can see that a big block by Gam Tagamon. Huli na si Robert Bolling doon. And Keith Pito had that opportunity to get that bucket in. Kaso, 
medyo umusok yung ring ng konti sa kaliwa. <laughs> Bokon, binigay dito kay Pax. Swings the ball to Bolling. Walong segundo, natitira sa shot clock. Bokon, pinasa sa ilalim. Keith Pido, natapik ang bola. It's perpetual basketball. Still slowing the game down. Still making sure that they are the ones setting the pace in the perpetual health. Coronel, binigay kay Pido. Back to Coronel. Coronel, umigot. Binigay kay Daganon. And the offense of Perpetual just non-existent at this point. Well, non-existent and tentative ang kanilang opensa. Especially in those last five minutes in the first half. But right now, they have to play a different style. You know, turn the turn the page over again. Para magkaroon ng ibang story dito, Perpetual Health. Pax, kapos ang kanyang tres rebound a 20. Wala pang nakakapuntos dito sa third quarter. Pido, ginamit ang Akweti screen. Dinabas dito kay Sigon Tico for three. Too strong. Pido grabs the loose ball. Coronel tries his luck. AJ Coronel, wala pa rin. Well, Brent Akweti really not getting his usual touches. But uh, you did mention it earlier, Coach Mix, na talagang pinapahirapan na na bigs na mga bedista na makapwesto itong si Aquete. AC Soberano on your screens. Five points so far in eight minutes of action. Sara, Rikiki Bolling. Bolling, kumatake. And Damos with a jumper. In and out. Rebound Pido. Well, not much action, action here to start the third quarter. Wala pang nakakapuntos dito. Jane Princess goes San Beda. Own it. San Beda para sa finals. Woohoo! <laughs> Pero man si Kenneth Ordonez, kahit wala na kami sa Moho Arena, ramdam na ramdam pa rin namin mga Perpetualites yung game dito sa Barco. <laughs> Saan ka pupunta, partner? Fuego Altas, hashtag Team Barco, kung saan ka man naroon, sana ikaw ay ligtas. Bago yun, ha? hashtag Team Barco as Aquete scores underneath. Finally, his fourth point in the game, Brian Aquete getting in the board dito to start the scoring dito sa, sa third quarter. Sigon Tico with a steal, Sigon Tico with a drive. Masyadong palakas, bothered by the defense of Sara. Balling, umatake, pinalik kay Sara. Sara with a fake, Sara with a shot. JV Bocon block, but Benedict the Davos was there for the putback. Picking up the pieces, Ben. Good read right there as JV Bocon was blocked. He was right there to pick up the trash. It was si Ben Adamos. Oh, Perpetual, known as a half-court type of team. But if they can't get their offense going smoothly, mahirapan sila dito. Perpetual is number nine in the league pagdating sa opensa. Sigon Tico, pumatake. That's a foul on Bohon. A great read right there by Adara Sikontiko. Pinatalon niyo muna si JV Mokon. Tapos pinasabit. And that's why he's going to the line for two. Adara Sikontiko had his first playing year as a rookie sa NCAA no 2014. Kasama ang Letran Knights. He played 9.1 minutes per game but only averaged 2.2 points per game. Lumaki ito sa Los Angeles, California but he traces his Filipino roots in Albay. So this is his second NCAA team. Itong Perpetual. Well, a great addition dito para sa Perpetual. Health considering second playing year pa lang ito ni Darrell Sikongtigo. Talaga napakalaking bagay niya para dito sa Altas. Watts receives the handoff from Adamos. Noah, binigay dito kay Sara. Dinedepensa ni Pido. Roldan Sara. 
No, rebound Dagangon. Power rebound by Cap Dagangon, providing it on the other end of the floor. He had two blocks earlier, pero ngayon getting that power rebound para sa kanyang kukunan. Sigurd Tico, binigay kay Dagangon. The leading scorer for Perpetual with seven. Pitin, Aquetti trying to tap it back to Cap Dagangon. It will stay with the Altas. Uh, tumawag muna ng timeout si Coach Jimwell Gigan. Magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 92 Final Four. At nagbabalik ang NCAA Season 92. At kasama ko ngayon ang isang former Red Lion, si Sir si Borgi Ermida, who used to be a Red Lion, played for the team last 2006 up to 2010. Grabe, how does it feel to be back here right now sa Moa Arida? Ah, uh, kaya nang dating feeling, sobrang saya. Ang sayang bumalik dito, lalo na ganito yung crowd. Nakakamiss talaga maglaro eh. At ano naman ang masasabi mo, Sir Red Lions, para makapasa sila sa finals? Ah, uh, so far, maganda naman yung linalaro nila, no? Lamang kami, lamang tayo, beta. So, maging consistent lang, saka stay composed, and hopefully, makuha natin yung win after. Alright, last but not least, may mga pabati ka ba? Um, Mamat, i-greet ko lang yung, ano, yung Bedan community na sana uh, patuloy tayong sumuport sa San Bedan, lalo na pagdating ng finals. Alright, thank you so much. It's such an honor to meet a former Bedan Red Lion. Alright, back to you, Anton and Mix. And Sarah, hindi ng former Bedan Red Lion, four-time champion din yan. Si Borgi Hermida, part of the NCAA Season 82, 83, 84, and 86 champion team. A true legend. Dito sa NCAA as Duno Noah comes up with a steal. Duno Noah with another fast break layup. And that's the energy that you get from the bench. Duno Noah you know, providing, you know, spark. Para dito hindi na sa offense, ako hindi sa defense rin. Kaya rin niyang tumakbo and extends the lead to seven para dito sa Red Lions. Pangalawang fast break layup na yan ni Duno Noah dito sa bakbaka na to. Pito, umatake. Pito, tumira. Dagangon with the rebound. Dagangon with a shot. Basket is good for Gab Dagangon. So they needed that bucket para dito sa perpetual help to stop the bleeding. Bola pa rin ng Red Lions. Sara recovers it. Sara shoots for three. Tapi ka na bola. Noah dives for it. Pido dives for it. Pot snatches the ball away. Adamos is fouled from the basket. Preta Coetti was contesting the traveling daw yun. Pero Ben Adamos, the X-Factor for the San Pedro Red Lions, keeping his balance. Medyo naosog doon ang kodi si Preta Coetti. Napasabit niya. And getting that the crowd hyped up para dito kay Ben Adamos. Benedict Adamos. What a game he has played today. Minimal impact sa unang pagharap sa Final Four. Pero dito sa bakbaka na to, ibang klase ang pinakita ni Benedict Adamos, lalo na sa depensa. So si Ben Adamos Anton, not the flashiest big man. The starting big man that we will see, but he just gets the job done. Walang frills, no spills. Kung ano lang yung pagawa sa kanya ni Coach Jamaik, you know, he can deliver. 7-point lead para sa Red Lions. Singot Tico, binigay kay Sadiwa. Hinahanap si Ese. Ao, umatake. Trying to drop it down low to Ese. But the ball was touched last by Red Lion and will stay with the Altas. Limang segundo na titira sa shot clock. No, five seconds to shoot, they have to run good screens right here of their inbound play. Make sure to get the basket in. Ilagan lets it fly. Sigontico off the glass and then. Good thing the ball went to Sigontico's hands, right place at the right time. Uh, to get that second chance point in. Sigontico and how outing Sara. Of Tana, multiple fakes. Oh, Calvin of Tana! How did he get that shot to go? And he bounced it off the board. Tapos sumabi pa si Prince Ezi dun. Pero somehow, someway, Calvin of Tana gets that basket. Papasok. Bonus points. 
Para sa Red Lions. And here's more. Look out oh, below. Galvin oh, Ostana. Galvin Ostana brings the house down. Four straight points. But more importantly, the momentum really clearly coming to the San Beda side. The transferee from Asian College to Maguete. Calvin Oftana. Four straight points para sa San Beda College dito sa third quarter. Multiple fakes. That's it off the glass. And here he is slamming it down. Calvin Oftana. What a time to come alive para sa kanyang kumunan. San Beda 47 for Petwell. 38. Dito sa Luxon ng Pasay as we check in with the lovely ladies at Ating Smile, you're on cam. It's a great Tuesday afternoon and the better crowd has somewhat silenced the perpetual side kasi nga ito na ang kanilang pinakamalaking kalamangan at 9 points returning the favor kasi kanina no first half lumamag ng shop na punto sa Altas. But Anton, the reason why the Altas led as much as 9 nung uh, kanilang second quarter is because of this lineup. Prince Eze, DJ Lagan, the second unit of Perpetual, and Flash Adiwa also. Ang nawala sa Perpetual, yung kanilang outside shooting, they shot 4 out of 6 in the first quarter. But since then, it's been a struggle. And they continue to struggle, but the thing so Pensa, while well, AC Soberano knocks in that back shot. Well, bi uh, biggest lead of the game para dito sa San Beda at 11. Perpetual is 0 for 8 from 3 point land since that 4 out of 6 start in the first quarter. And here's the best 3 point shooter in the league, AC Soberano. Driving and backing it off the glass. Credit AC Soberano Anton for adjusting his game. Alam ng kanya mga katunggali na siya ititira sa labas. Pero with that adjustment, coming into this game, he knows that he's gonna be checked from outside. But a uh, great adjustment para dito kay AC just driving into the lane. That's his second floater of this game, I believe. A perpetual Altas may nagtatanong sa akin sa Twitter. Ilang oras ang kanilang ensayo kahapon. Mm -hmm. Anim po. Anim na oras ang kanilang pag-ensayo. Tatlong oras sa Las Piñas. One additional hour for viewing in Las Piñas. And two hours dito sa Mall of Asia Arena. As we see Yusei Koga, former Red Lion. And Jake Pascual. Well, uh, these guys won multiple championships. Oh. Uh, Jake Pascual, part of that long list of great power forwards from the San Beda Red Lion side. Bolik kicks it out. Presbitero from the corner. Bitin. And Prince Eze did not grab that basketball. It was right in front of him and Bolik just snatched it away. So a little miscommunication in that part, on that sequence. Medyo depend na block ng body si Eze doon at hindi na nakuha yung rebound. Kaya ito, kaya tuloy, uh, may extra possession kayo ng San Beda. Soberano, nasa loob bola. Sampung segundo, natitira sa shot clock. Soberano, lumusot. Soberano, tumira. Puntos para sa Red Lions. And that's what I'm talking about again. AC Soberano just adjusting his game. Saw that opening in the middle. Floater para kay AC. Perpetual struggling on both ends of the court trying to keep up with the Red Lions and Defensa and bleeding for points on offense look at Soberano just splitting the deep yes splitting and evading the defense AC Soberano that is 9.4 out of 5 from the field isa pala ang kanyang minimitis dito sa ating ball game balik ang kalamangan sa labing isa as sa Diwa shoots 2 Flash Shadiwa. You're not really getting the uh, minutes that we expect. Because uh, this guy really played a lot in no, season 91. This season, he's averaging 11 minutes and 2 points a game. And that second unit spark para dito kay Coach Jibler. Babalik po na sa bench itong si Shadiwa. Back on the floor is Keith Pido. As we see Robert Bolling who came up with that huge 
eight to nothing blast in the second half, in the second quarter, excuse me, of Tana. Well, Anton Robert was the really uh, big reason why, why, you know, San Beda created that separation in that uh, big run by the San Beda in the first half. Big na booby smoke. But this is Abby booby smoke. Inspired basketball from Robert Bolling. Dudu Noah! Dudu Noah pointing at his coach, Jamai Karin. I really like how Dudu Noah is playing throughout the series, especially this game. Talagang driving towards the basket. Parang walang pake, just drive lang ng, ng, ng drive, just being aggressive, you know, just really, you know, sumusunod lang yung laro niya doon sa kanyang energy. Former Bedan Coach Hammer Martin Antonio describes Nuno Noah as a bull in a china shop. I wouldn't want to be in a china shop with a bull rampaging and destroying everything there. I don't want to be around the bull anywhere. Sisirain ka lang yan. Na syempre, of course, parang rin na naka-attack mo din si Nuno oh. Noah. Parang the ball pass, pag nakababa yung ulo, talagang alam mong gonna drive aggressively towards the basket. And the combination of strength, mass, and speed, yun ang dala nitong si Nuno yes. Noah. That's the perfect way to put it. Even though he seems bulky, he seems really you know, stocky, pero nakakabilis po ni Nuno Noah. Ilagan. Binigay dito kay Keith Pido. Back to GJ Ilagan. Keith Pido. Back out to GJ Ilagan. Fouled for three. And good Jamaica in his limit. Well, Anton, that was actually a good defensive sequence. Wala dito sa San Beda. Now, during that possession, ang nagpasahan lang doon si Keith Pido at si GJ Ilagan. Pero ito kayo, uh, Gap Dagangon in Bright Akweti. You know, uh, very subpar numbers, only made five baskets. Kumpara mo sa Disinwebe, nung uh, kanilang last meeting. Yun ang nawawala. Tagako na nakweti at dalawa sa pinakamagalik na scorers sa Perpetual. Missing in action here in this do-or-die contest. And Ilagan missing the first two free throws. GJ Ilagan only took 19 free throws. Coming into this game, that was free throw attempt number 21. And out of those uh, 21 free throws, 13 lamang ang naipapasok ni GJ. And it stays that way. Zero out of three. That could have been big baskets. Arakata wants to stop the beating dito sa run ng San Beda. Nata pick up bola, na recover ni Potts. Presbitero gives it back to Devon. Devon to Nuno. And the ball will stay with the Red Lions. Four, four seconds to shoot. Baseline inbound. You know, they have to watch the switches. They have to come off screens really well to be able to be open. Fox, Biten ang kanyang tres. Ilaga, napulot ang bola. Fox was sneaking up from behind. How? Trying to get it to Aquati. Coronel recovers it. Less than a minute to play here in the third. Coronel fouled by Navarro. Coach Jimuel Gikan, second year as the coach of Perpetual, pero huli siyang the coach para sa Perpetual no 2011 pa. Five wins and 13 losses was the record of Perpetual during that year, NCAA season 87. Dante Richang head coach ng Las Piñas College. As AJ Coronel misses, that's the fourth straight miss from the free throw line by the Altas. And of course, uh, that year that Coach Jim Gigan coached, you know, even though they didn't make it to the Final Four, but that was the team. Yun yung pahitod na na team na minana niya Coach Arik Del Rosario, Scotty Thompson, Harold Almorella, Justin Alano. Uh, papasok nun the next year si Chong Baloria. And eventually that uh, same lineup went on to the final for that following season. Jet Vidal was also yes. in that lineup and uh, Chris Elombre. And that was the rookie year of Scotty Thompson. Dudu Noah 
Linamas dito kay Tonko. Pots has the basketball up top. Pots in attack mode. Pots with a left hand. A good drive right there. Just a parting of the Red Sea. Walang uh, sumabay dong kay Devon Pots. Of course, when he's on attack mode, alam mo na para kay Devon Pots. Biggest lead of the game. Para sa mga Betista, the Perpetualites need an answer. Keith Pido could not get it to Aqueti. It's been a nightmare of a game for Aqueti. Well, the cause of that nightmare, Anton, as we can see right here, the Von Pots just sizing up. Jack Howe, nakahuli siya doon. Walang sumabay sa kanya. Hindi siya sinabayan ni AJ Coronel and Brent Aqueti doon for that easy bucket. And uh, kaya nga, Anton, the causing the nightmares para dito sa Perpetual Health is ang ganda ng 3-2 zone defense na ang pinapakita dito nila Coach Jamai Karim just really suffocating the offense of the Perpetual Health. Bright Aqueti, just 4 points in this game. Also, a poor shooting clip, just 2 out of 8 from the field. And Benadam was a big reason for that. Balik ang kalamangan sa sampo. 10.2 seconds na natitira dito sa third quarter. Huling pagkakataon para sa Red Lions. Presbitero with a crossover. Presbitero with a drive. Davon Pot steps it in! And the refs will review it. At the first look, Anton, that basket just got in the nick of time. But of course, it's better uh, to review this basket para makasigurado tayo. Look at the Von Potts. Nobody boxing him out. Nabitawan in the Von Potts. Basket is good. The Von Potts. Humirit pa. Sa dulo ng third quarter. Talagang saktong sakto. Talagang literally in the nick of time. Just when the ball was released from his hands. Do nag point, uh, point one seconds. Kaya saktong sakto from that replay na pasok talaga yung kanyang tibin. But the referee is still reviewing it. Now while the referees are uh, you know, viewing it, the fans from uh, San Beda pleading. Nasabi, count it mo na daw. And totoo nga, basket is good para dito kay Devon Potts. So the Red Lions outscored Perpetual in the third quarter, 19 to 14. And got contributions from guys like Calvin Oftana. Four straight points mula sa transferee, mula sa Asian College Dumaguete. Showing us a highlight real duck, AC Soberano, showing us that he's more than a three-point shooter. And what about the Von Potts? Napako ang pa ni Jack House sa sahig. And the Von Potts again, bago na tapos ang third quarter. Humirin pa. And Anton San Pedro also outscored Perpetual Help in the second quarter, 22 to 10. But right now, in the driver's seat, lamang na lamang ang San Beda Red Lions with 12 big points. Fourth quarter is our big pagbabalik. Ito po ang NCAA Season 92.